Hello there guys and welcome to another Milk is Nice tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at Greensock's split text plugin. Um, so we can do effects like this, like a typewriter. We can easily change stuff. I'll zoom in in a minute so you can see this better. But um, we can go like this and you can see that's coming up like that we can change it to lines we can change characters um, we can animate words individually uh, we can just do various settings let's have a look at this one um, and then we can change some easing it's really simple to do so let's just say bounce and we can see this effect wobbly kind of text effect we change this now here um, let's go like this and you can see that's coming up like that like a wobbly effect I know it looks a bit weird but you can play around with this and you can get some really cool stuff and we're going to be just looking at the basics today um, but later on we can look at some really cool advanced stuff uh, if uh, the split text plugin is a paid plugin it's part of the shockingly green membership uh, on green sock but saying that we can use it for free on code pen to practice with okay then i think we should get coding cheers okay so let's just have a quick look at our html so um I'll zoom in a bit so you can see this so just basic got a basic uh, div here with a class of split text inside that we've got our h1 uh, and then we have obviously our little button at the bottom there and the CSS is really basic I'll put this um, pen in the description so you can fork it or whatever but, um, and then we just have our little click function here to animate when we click the button down here okay so um, first of all what we need to do is create a, a new timeline so let's go oh before I do that I'm just gonna click here and show you what libraries we've got we've got the tween max and then we have got our split text in here okay so uh, let's make a new variable and let's go var tl equals new and we can use timeline light um, and then what we want to do is split the text so uh, we need to create a variable to in order to do this so let's go my split text oh let's move this over a bit so you can see this a bit better my split text oh equals new split text oh new split text and then we open our brackets and we need to tell it what we want to split so we can see up here we have got our div class of split text so let's split that up so we're gonna go dot and then what do we call it split text so split oh split text and that will split up our h1 inside of this div um, and what we can do is we can tell it what type of split that we want to use so we can split it into letters we can split it into words and we can split it into lines so to do that we open our curlies and then we need to tell it what type of split we want like I said so let's just say, say words for now so this should split it up into words and if we inspect it over here uh, I don't know if you can see this let me try and zoom in a bit like that okay let's zoom into here there we go so you can see here it's split it into word so we've got here is um, here is example split text uh, and then so if we come over here and we go lines we should be able to see it splitting into lines as well and we can go chars which will split each letter individually you can see what it's done here so if I inspect this uh, you can see H here, E, R, E, so that split that up. Okay, so let's just close that a second. Um, and then we need uh, an array of all the divs um, that wrap the characters. So 
let's do um, uh, let's say like lines let's go lines for the variable and then we're gonna say equals my split uh, oh I was supposed to do my split because we need to grab this copy that a second and put that there and then we're gonna say dot lines okay uh, and then we need to uh, do our animation so what we do is we grab this timeline so we're gonna say let's just move this down a bit so we're gonna say TL for our timeline and we're gonna stagger it so we're gonna say stagger from and then we want the lines uh, let's just say one second and we want to come so we open our codes we want to come from an opacity of zero capacity of zero um, and then this is where we can adjust like the the y axis so let's say y 80 um, and then we can say we can give it an ease um, lots of various eases that we can use but let's use bounce for now and we'll look at some more in a minute ease out um, and then what we want to do is give the duration of each split so um, of each stagger sorry so let's say 0 0.4 and let's have a look there we go so you can see that's bouncing up let's just come in here a second and zoom out a bit so you can see it better uh, zoom out and let's just give it a save and a refresh and you should be able to see there we go so that's coming in like that um, and then there's lots of little things that we can do like I said we're just going to be doing basic stuff for now but let's zoom in here and um, let's just say we want to do the characters individually so we can make this cars Charles Charles uh, stagger from Charles and now we should be able to see there we go so you can see the characters let's just save and refresh so it looks a bit better zoom out a bit Oi, zoom out a bit if I can ah what am I doing undo that sec what have I done here have I just added something in haven't I okay never mind let's just try and zoom out okay so if we come down here and then what we can do is it's a bit slow so we can just come in here and let's zoom in a bit and we can change like the duration so this is the duration of the whole animation so we change that to 0.3 and there you can see it's coming in quicker now and if we change this we can to say 0 0.01 there you go you can see let's just zoom out here again like this uh, save refresh it come on there you go so you can see they're coming in better uh, and then we've got a lot of options that we can do for our easing so we come over here and we go to GSAT easing let's see uh, easing here oh we need the visualize there we go so um, we can see the different kind of easing effects so let's try elastic here so um, let's copy this and then go back to our split text and paste that in here and there you go so that's a different kind of effect I know it doesn't look amazing but you guys can fiddle around with this uh, rough let's see what happens oh no let's just do a let's just do a normal like a power four so let's copy that and we can come back in here and just edit this line here I don't sorry if you can't see this let's zoom in so I've just there we go so you can see there's a different easing effect on this um, what have I got a thing there no, okay uh, so let's just re save and refresh 
there we go you can see that coming in like that and then obviously you can change like the y axis to x and there you go so you, uh, you don't you can do this so there you go so you get kind of like a typewriter effect um, zoom out a bit again and rerun this there you go you can see it coming in there um, there's loads of stuff that you can do you can put a rotate on here um, you can mess around with all the effects so we can do like well, what did we do we did did we do words before um, so we could do we could do words here we change that to words uh, and what have I missed out some where words oh words and this there you go so that split the words and then we can again change the timings so there you go I'm just oh, if you can't see this I'm just changing the timings there so you can see it's a lot slower but there's loads of cool stuff that we can do with this um, but I just wanted to give you an introduction today and then later on um, we'll look at some really awesome effects but uh, thanks very much for watching guys and um, I'll see you soon cheers and bye